Uh, good morning uh, to you all and um, a warm, warm welcome uh, to you all for the uh, Monterey Policy Press uh, Conference today. Um, so this is the sixth uh, scheduled um, Monterey Policy Review uh, for this year. And uh, as before, uh, uh, this press conference is presided over by the Governor's Central Bank, uh, Deshamanya Professor W.D. Lakshman. Uh, and the panel also includes the, the deputy uh, governors, uh, Mr. Mahinda Sirwadana, uh, Mrs. Sivat Fernando, and uh, Mr. Dhammika Naneyakkara, along with the uh, assistant governors and the relevant uh, heads of uh, department. The format uh, of this press conference is also the same as before. Uh, first, the uh, governor will do uh, opening remarks. Um, uh, followed by uh, the presentation uh, on the review of uh, Monterey Policy Stance by Director of uh, Economic Research, Dr. Uh, Chandranath Amansekara. And this presentation will be repeated in Singhal and Tamil uh, by Dr. Lasitha Padberia and Dr. Sudhita uh, Jagajivan, my colleagues at the Economic Research Department. And then uh, we will open the uh, uh, floor for questions. So with that uh, short introduction, let me uh, kindly invite Governor to make the opening remarks. Uh, over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Harishandra. Let me, as usual, begin in Singhala and then follow it up with, uh, with English. Ubehamata Subha Udhasanak. Covid dahana me wasangate asvitava pavati na gata lunusa. Navatavarak tapata barga gata krame ose. Amai. Mevarat amu imata sidiwala. Kiben. Emunat artika visheshen ma ehi videshi anshe. Stavara karagani masandaha. Mudal mandle gat yam yam badagat tirana pilimadu. Avodia klabagani matu. Visheshen other Madhya Hamur, Vadagat Vayai, Ma Kalpanakano. Ubadana Paridi, Artika Vardana Kriavadia, Digatama, Burdi Hitakara, Mawataka, Pautin Vatiatara, Didas Viseka Vasara Sandaha, Artika, Sieta Pahaka, Pamana Vardanak, Vartaka Matai, Mahabanku, Purukatanekarno. Asugia was a rekaha marak. O it a radical yak. Labadun salaki you to Raja Mulia Sahan. Eva game Suiseshi Mulia Utejaka. Covid Tarjane Hamwe Wat. Many Hela Vardanak Sandaha. Isalava Shane Sahai relative. Kesevata Tartika Vardane Saha Ihala Naya Prasarne Tadaradun Mema Kriavadi Yam Yam Aturupati Paka Tapata Dakinata Tibuna Vishesha Vashe Videshi Anshe Gatahama Eva Gema Sama Nivashe Samasta Sahara Artike Gatahama Asamatulitata is Matuanu, Apata than in the Tibuna. Velena Hinge Ululbim, Deshiaha, Videshi, Poli, Anupatika, Atter, Vishamata, Pananagim, Vidimatha, Avidimat, Velanda Polo Alcuda, Pautina, Minime, Anupatike, and Nila, Minime, Anupatike, Vena Swim. May some man then, Vadegat say, Apata Dakin Tunu, Kara. The same Videsha Vinime Velanda Polatula Ati Ahitakara Samapekshana Tulin Ati Munu, Yam Yam Anisi Pratipalat Mahila Sandahan Kalyutui. Pasangate Mardane Kirim Sandaha Enat Labadi me Kadinam Badapil Dirigan Manasuduat. Kalin Balapurtu Pramanen, Sancharak Karmante, Ikmanin, Yatatat Patimak, Golia 
තත්ත්වයන් සලකීමේදී අපට පෙනෙන්නට නැහැ ඊට අමතරව විධිමත් මාර්ග ඔස්සේ කරනු ලබන සේවා නියුක්තික ප්‍රේෂණ ඒවායි ලැබීම් වල මන්දගාමී බවක් දක්වා තිබෙනවා විධිමත් මාර්ග ඔස්සේ ඒ අනුව 2020 වර්ෂයේ මුල් භාගයේදී වසංගතය ආරම්භයේදී ආර්ථිකයට ලබා දෙන්නට පටන් ගත් මූල්‍ය උත්තේජන මදක් ආපසු හරවමින් ප්‍රතිපත්ති ක්‍රියා මාර්ග ගණනාවක් මගින් මෙලෙස ඇති වෙමින් තිබුණු තිබෙන අසමතුලිතතා සඳහා නම් කිසි තීරණාත්මක විසඳුම් පෙළක් ලබා දීමට ඉන්දල් මණ්ඩලය තීරණය කරා ආර්ථික පර්යේෂණ දෙපාර්තමේන්තුවෙහි අධ්‍යක්ෂකතුමා ඉදිරියෙහි කරන සාකච්ඡාවෙහිදී මේ පිළිබඳ සවිස්තර පැහැදිලි කිරීමක් කරනවා ඇති හෙටියෙන් කිව්වොත් ප්‍රතිපත්ති පොලි අනුපාතික පදනම් අංක 50ක් ඉහළ දැමීමට මුදල් මණ්ඩලය තීරණය කළා විවස්ථාපිත සංචිත අනුපාතය පදනම් අංක 200කින් ඉහළ දමන්නට තීරණය කළා මෙම පියවර දෙක මගින් වෙළඳපොළ තැන්පතු හා ණය පොලි අනුපාතික වල යම් ඉහළ යාමක් අපි අපේක්ෂා කරනවා ඒ සමගම විදේශ මුදල් තැන්පතු සඳහා ලබා දෙන අධික පොලි අනුපාතික නියාමනය කිරීමට පියවර ගැනීමට මුදල් මණ්ඩලය තීරණය කළා තිබෙනවා ඒ අතරෙම ව්‍යවස්ථාපිත සංචිත අනුපාත වැඩි කිරීම තුලින් අවශෝෂණය වන ද්‍රව්‍යශීලතාවයෙන් කොටසක් ඉරසාර ආර්ථික කටයුතු සඳහා යොමු කිරීමේ යාන්ත්‍රණයක් සකස් කරමින් සිටින බවත් මෙහිලා සඳහන් කළ යුතුය ඒ අනුව දේශීය හා විදේශීය මුදල් සඳහා වන පොලි අනුපාතික අතර පවතින විෂමතාව බොහෝ දුරට නිවැරදි කරනු ඇතැයි අපි බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා එමගින් විදේශ වෙළඳ ශේෂයේදී මෙන්ම වෙළඳ පොලේ විදේශ විනිමය සඳහා ඇති ඉල්ලුම් සැපයුම් අතර හැඩ ගැසීමක් ද සිදු වනු ඇත ඉහළ තැන්පතු අනුපාතික සංසාරණයේ පවතින විශාල මුදල් ප්‍රමාණයෙන් බොහෝ කොටසක් බැංකු අංශය තුලට ආපසු හැරවීමට හේතු වනු ඇති එමගින් එම සම්පත් ඵලදායී අරමුණු සඳහා යොමු කිරීමට බැංකු වලට හැකියාව අවස්ථාව සැලසෙන මෙම හැඩ ගැසීම් සමග ආර්ථිකයෙහි විදේශීය අංශයේ ස්ථාවරත්වය ඉහළ නගින්න ඇති ඒ සමගම සමස්ත ආර්ථිකය වඩාත් ස්ථාවර වෘද්ධි මාවතක් ඔස්සේ ගමන් කරනු ඇතැයි මුදල් මණ්ඩලය අපේක්ෂා කරනවා මීට අමතරව මෙම පියවර මගින් ඉදිරියෙහිදී ඇති විය හැකි කිසියම් මහෝ ඕනෑවට වඩා වැඩි උද්දමන පීඩනයක් ඇතොත් එය වළක්වා ගැනීමටත් අපේක්ෂා කරනවා මෙකී හැඩ ගැසුම් ඉදිරියෙහි ඉදිරිපත් කරමින් මුදල් මණ්ඩලය තරයේ ප්‍රකාශ කරන්නේ 2019 වර්ෂය වන තෙක් පැවති අධික පොලි අනුපාතික ක්‍රමයට ආර්ථික නැවත දුඩුදීම වැලැක්වීම සඳහා කැපවීමෙන් ක්‍රියා කරන බවයි නුදුරු අනාගතයෙහි රට තුලට අපේක්ෂා කරන විදේශීය මුදල් ප්‍රවාහ සම්බන්ධයෙන් කතා කළොත් චීන සංවර්ධන බැංකුවෙන් ලැබීමට ඇති නියමිත ඉතිරි ණය මුදල් බංග්ලාදේශ මහ බැංකුවෙන් ලැබෙන හුවමාරු හෙවත් ස්වප් පහසුකම් යාත්‍යන්තර මූල්‍ය අරමුදලෙන් අපට හිමි විදේශ ගැනුම් හිමිකම් පහසුකම් මෙම මාසය තුලදී අගෝස්තු මාසය තුලදී ලබා ගැනීමට අපි බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා ගරු මුදල් ඇමතිතුමා සමග මහ බැංකුව මනා අන්තර් සම්බන්ධතාවයක් පවත්වාගෙන යනවා ඒ අතරම රාජ්‍ය මූල්‍ය ඒකග්‍රතාව ඇති කිරීම කෙරෙහි රාජ්‍යයේ පවතින කැපවීම හා ණය නොවන විදේශ විනිමය ලැබීම් ආකර්ෂණය කර ගැනීමට හැකි අංශ ඇතුළුව දේශීය නිෂ්පාදන ආර්ථිකයට ආධාර කිරීමට පවතින උනන්දුව 
අගය කළ යුතු වෙනවා අප මෙහිලා මහ බැංකුවට කළ හැකි සියලු දේ හිතු කරමින් සිටනවා කියලා කියන්නට පුළුවන් ප්‍රතිපත්ති හා සම්බන්ධ කරුණු වලට අමතරව කරුණු කීපයක් ඔබ හමුවේ ඉදිරිපත් කිරීමට මට මේ අවස්ථාව කර ගැනීමට මම කැමතියි මහ බැංකුව තුළ සාමාන්‍ය වශයෙන් සිදු වෙන සාමාන්‍ය පරිපාලන කටයුතු සම්බන්ධ ඇතැම් මාධ්‍ය මගින් මතු කර දක්වන මත ගැන මෙහිදී සඳහන් කළ යුතු සේ මට පෙනෙන එක තරුණක් ඒලා එක්තරා කලකිරීම කිනුයි මා කටයුතු කතු මහ කතා කරන්න කාර්යමණ්ඩල පත්වීම් සහ ස්ථාන මාරු වීම් සිදු කරන්නේ සේවා අවශ්‍යතාම නාවැංකුවේ ජේෂ්ඨ කලමනාකාරිත්වය අතර සුහදශීලී මනා සමෘද්ධාවක් පවත නාවැංකුවේ අභ්‍යන්තර පරිපාලන කටයුතු වැරදි ලෙස කතනය නොකරන දෙස මා ඔබගෙන් ඉල්ලා සිටිනවා එහි දැදගත්කම අවධාරණය කර එසේම දෙවනි කරුණ හැටියට නම් රහිත මහ බැංකුවට හෝ බැංකු මූලාශ්‍ර වලට අදාළව සිදු කර ඇති මාධ්‍ය ප්‍රකාශන පිළිබඳවත් ගමක් සඳහන් කළ යුතුයි මහ බැංකුව විසින් නිල නිවේදනයක් නිකුත් කරන්නේ එක්කෝ අධිපතිතුමා විසින් මෙම නැත්තම් නම සහ තනතුර හිරිදරව් කරමින් වෙනත් බලය ලත් නිලධාරියෙක් විසින් එය මා නැවතත් අවධාරණය කරන්නට කැමති ඒ නිසා එවැනි නිල නොවන වාර්තා මහ බැංකුවේ කටයුතු හැටියට ඉදිරිපත් කිරීමෙන් වලකින සේත් මා ඔබගෙන් අවධාරණය ආයතනය කරනවා ලෙට් මී ගිව් යු ද ට්‍රාන්ස්ලේෂන් ඔෆ් වට් අයි හැව් indicate i have mentioned in singhala good morning everybody once again we are forced to meet virtually due to the pandemic related concerns nevertheless we think today's press conference is important to understand the crucial decisions that the monetary board has taken to stabilize the economy particularly in relation to the external sector as you are aware the growth process is on track and the economy is poised to record the growth of around 5% in 2021 <clears throat> this acceleration in growth has been supported by notable fiscal stimulus as well as extraordinary monetary stimulus over the past one and a half years or so <clears throat> However in this process of supporting economic growth and high credit expansion we have also observed an emergence of macroeconomic imbalances <clears throat> these were exacerbated by weaknesses in external conditions these included a widening of the trade deficit and normally is between domestic and foreign in interest rates and normally is uh, in interest rates on uh, domestic and foreign uh, resources uh, deviations in formal and informal market exchange rates from the official exchange rate adverse speculations in the foreign exchange market also have had adverse impacts although the pace of the vaccination drive is encouraging global conditions do not appear to indicate an early revival of the tourism sector in the mag- in the magnitude that was expected earlier In addition there has been a slowdown in workers remittances in flows that are made to formal channels <clears throat> accordingly the monetary board decided to address these imbalances decisively through an array of 
policy measures, partly rolling back the monetary stimulus provided to the economy at the onset of the pandemic in early 2020. The Director of Economic Research would explain this in some detail. The board decided to increase the policy interest rates by 50 basis points. The statutory reserve ratio was increased by 200 basis points. These two measures are expected to result in some increase in market deposit and lending rates. <clears throat> At the same time, measures will be taken to regulate excessive interest rates offered on foreign currency deposits. Mechanism is, a mechanism, a mechanism is being worked out to root a part of the liquidity absorbed through the increase in SRR towards sustainable economic activities domestically. Accordingly, the anomaly between domestic and foreign interest rates, foreign currency interest rates, will be corrected to a great extent, prompting an adjustment in the external trade balance, as well as demand and supply conditions in the foreign currency market. Higher deposit rates are also expected to induce a return of the large volume of currency in circulation back into the banking sector, enabling the bank to route these resources towards productive purposes. With these adjustments, the monetary board expects the economy to move along a more stable growth path with greater stability in the external sector of the economy. In addition, these measures are also expected to preempt any excessive inflationary pressure that could arise in future. Introducing <coughs> this adjustment, the monetary board emphasizes that action will be taken to prevent high interest rate regime that was in place until 2019, uh, re-emerging with full uh, commitment. With uh, regard to foreign currency inflows, we expect to receive the remainder of the loan from China Development Bank, the swap facility from the Bangladesh Bank, and also the SDR allocation from the IMF during the remainder of this month. Uh, regular <coughs> interactions with the Honorable Minister of Finance are ongoing. And it has been encouraging to note the commitment expressed towards fiscal consolidation, and keenness to support the domestic production economy, particularly the sectors that can attract non-debt foreign exchange inflows. In these areas, we are providing all the support to the government in subjects of operation of the central bank. Apart from policy-related matters, I must also express my disappointment over unnecessary noise generated by certain media outlets on routine administrative matters within the central bank. Staff allocations and reallocations are made based on <clears throat> service requirements. And there is a cordial work relationship between senior management of the central bank. I urge you not to misinterpret the central bank's internal administrative decisions. I have to also uh, refer to another matter here. In fact, we have 
recently issued a statement on media statements attributed to the central bank or unnamed central bank sources. I reiterate that any official statement issued by the central bank will be made by either myself or any other authorized official of the central bank identified by name and designation. Thank you very much, Bhoma Skuti or Bhamata. Mama Saka Chava Genia Mata Avata Mike Kapastan. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Um, now, uh, Director uh, Economic Research, uh, Dr. Chandana Tamasekar, will uh, begin his uh, presentation on the review of monetary policy stance. Oh, dear doctor. Thank you very much, Dr. Harishandra, and uh, uh, good day to all of you. And uh, this is the sixth uh, review of the monetary policy stance for this year. And uh, as you are well aware by now, the central bank uh, has uh, decided to increase the policy interest rates as well as the statutory reserve ratio. Uh, and this has been done with a view to addressing the imbalances on the external sector of the economy and to preempt the buildup of any excessive inflation pressures over the medium term uh, amidst improved growth uh, prospects, as uh, Governor uh, explained. Uh, accordingly, the policy interest rates, the key policy interest rates of the central bank, uh, have been increased by 50 basis points. The standing deposit facility rate uh, to 5%, uh, the standing lending facility rate to 6%, and also uh, since April 2020, the bank rate or the lender of last resort facility rate uh, has been uh, linked to the SLFR uh, with a margin of uh, 300 basis points, and uh, it also has been automatically adjusted accordingly to 9%. Uh, uh, at the same time, the board, uh, monetary board of the central bank has decided to increase the uh, statutory reserve ratio uh, on all rupee deposit liabilities of licensed commercial banks. Uh, it was 2% earlier. It has been increased by 2 percentage points to uh, 4% uh, by now. This will come into effect uh, from the next reserve maintenance period starting on the 1st of uh, September 2021. Uh, if I take you through some of the considerations uh, uh, that were taken into account by the monetary board in uh, arriving at those decisions, uh, as you are aware, the global economy is expected to grow by 6% in uh, 2021, according to the, the, the IMF's uh, latest projections. Uh, the IMF expects the advanced economies to grow by 5.6%, uh, and uh, emerging market and developing economies to grow by 6.3% in 2021. Uh, and in 2022, uh, the global growth projection is at 4.9%. Uh, and uh, obviously, I mean, with the, the multiple waves of the pandemic, there will be uh, revisions to uh, these global projections, just like uh, projections for the Sri Lankan economy. Looking at global food and commodity prices, uh, they are all, almost all the, the, the global prices are on an upward trend. Uh, crude oil uh, hit uh, $77.5 uh, uh, a barrel uh, in uh, July. It has now come, da come down uh, slightly to 67 dollars uh, as of today. And LP gas prices, coal prices, as well as food prices are uh, on an uh, upward uh, trend. They, have, they are uh, at a much higher level than uh, uh, observed at the beginning of this year, as well as in the past uh, couple of years. And uh, in this background, although central banks do not uh, generally respond to uh, supply disruptions, some central banks have already indicated that uh, that uh, they are uh, they uh, are considering tightening of uh, monetary policy in the period ahead, and some central banks have already done that. If you look at the global uh, monthly uh, policy rate changes, there have been uh, increases in global policy interest rates by three thousand seven hundred twenty 
basis points thus far during the year compared to cuts of 1,350 basis points thus far during the year. So this is in uh, sharp contrast to what happened in 2020 amidst the, 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 the onset of the COVID pandemic. There were cumulatively 18,698 basis point cuts in uh, policy interest rates. Um, uh, and uh, that's, that is gradually reversing uh, globally at the moment. And if you consider the global monetary policy decisions thus far during the year, uh, there have been 19 19% of decisions uh, to tighten monetary policy and 78% uh, uh, decisions are to hold monetary policy at the current levels. Uh, and 3% uh, of uh, those decisions are to ease uh, the monetary policy stance further. Um, and uh, looking at the Sri Lankan economy, the, the economy is on a recovery path uh, in the first quarter of 2021, based on the information released by the Department of Census and Statistics. Uh, the economy has grown by 4.3% year on year. Uh, and uh, this is uh, much better than what the central bank expected. Uh, and uh, in the second quarter, in spite of the disruptions due to the third wave, uh, we uh, expect uh, growth to have been uh, in the double digit uh, territory. So with that, uh, uh, although there is a risk of uh, further uh, waves of the pandemic, uh, we project economic growth in 2021 to be uh, uh, around 5% or more, depending on uh, the, the downside risks, how the downside risks materialize from the pandemic. But still, as we have explained earlier, the economy is well poised to uh, continue to grow uh, because the economy is now adjusted to uh, work from home to a great uh, extent. At the same time, as Governor has explained, uh, the vaccination program is ongoing and there has been rapid progress uh, with regard to the vaccination drive that will also help uh, sustain the growth momentum in the period ahead. And the central bank has supported the, uh, supported the, the economy uh, to uh, the, supported the government as well to manage the, the, the pandemic, the effects of the pandemic and revive the economy through unprecedented monetary stimulus, uh, as you are well aware. And uh, in 2020, the, the, the addressing COVID-19 pandemic related economic and social implications was the immediate challenge, uh, as uh, uh, we know. And the central bank was compelled to do the heavy lifting of the pandemic response, given the lack of fiscal space. So uh, if I take you through some of those uh, measures that the central bank took, uh, in 2020, uh, the central bank has purchased treasury bills from the primary market and through direct allocations amounting to 831 billion. Uh, those are short term, up to one year treasury bills. So a uh, part of that has already uh, matured. And in 2020, uh, 21, thus far during the year, uh, we have purchased 917 billion uh, in treasury bills uh, uh, into uh, the, the, the central bank. And through the Saubhaga refinance scheme, we have released 180 billion to the economy. And uh, through the injection of liquidity, through the reduction in SRR, we released 108, another 180 billion uh, to the economy in 2020. The central bank profit transfers uh, in 2020 and 2021 amounted to 39 billion rupees. Uh, those are the profit transfers to the government. And also, if you look at the support to the private sector in terms of savings, uh, the, uh, when you look at the reduced market interest rates, uh, the saving computed based on the outstanding credit volume at the average weighted lending rate, uh, we can compute them at 204 billion rupees in 2020 and another 112 billion in uh, 2021. Uh, there have been savings to the government and the public uh, corporations as well. Uh, in 2020, you can estimate that to be 189 billion. It could be more if you look at the long-term uh, uh, interest rates. And uh, in 2021, thus far, there has been a saving of 85 billion. So uh, uh, a considerable amount of uh, monetary stimulus given to the economy. And these measures obviously complemented the government's response made through fiscal concessions, 
and uh, also financial support to uh, needy people and increased uh, health uh, related expenses. So with the gradual transmission of the accommodative mitre policy stance, market deposit and lending rates declined to their historically uh, low levels. At the moment, most of the market uh, interest rates remain at historically low levels. The average weighted lending rate has uh, declined to 9.5%. Uh, and the prime lending rate now remains at about 5.7%. So if you compare these uh, rates, uh, the weighted average rates that we are seeing now with uh, the rates at the end of 2019, uh, you can see a substantial decline in uh, these lending rates. For instance, uh, if I take the prime lending rate uh, in uh, 2019, during the year 2019, uh, the prime lead, average weighted prime lending rate was at uh, about, uh, 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 it was above, two, uh, above uh, 12 percent. It came down to about 10 percent by the end of 2019, and uh, at the moment it's set uh, 5.7 percent. Same with the overall average weighted uh, lending rate, 13.59 uh, percent at the end of 2019. It has now come down to 9.5 percent. So these are the bank uh, average weighted uh, rates computed by the central bank. But obviously, uh, there are some higher uh, interest rates in the market, uh, which we believe uh, could still be adjusted downwards. And uh, supported by the low uh, interest rates, uh, what what is in, intended by uh, maintaining low interest, low interest, policy interest rates and a high level of liquidity is to support the private sector so that uh, there could be private se sector led economic uh, growth. And uh, we see that uh, that has been happening. So uh, private sector credit growth has accelerated to 12.9% year on year by now. At the end of uh, 2019, private sector credit growth was at 4.2%. At the end of 2020, it was at 6.5%. So there has been a rapid acceleration in private sector credit growth. <laughs> and uh, in the first half of 2021, uh, we have seen uh, an increase in private sector credit growth by about 414 uh, billion rupees. And if you compare this figure with the annual increase in private sector credit growth in 2019 and 2020, in 2019, the annual increase was 235.5 billion. And uh, in 2020, it was 374.1 billion. So compared to those two values, during the first half of 2021 itself, uh, we have seen a higher uh, uh, value. Uh, in terms of increasing private sector credit uh, by uh, banks. The, the second chart here shows the sectoral credit, the movements of sectoral credit. We have, uh, in addition to the increase in personal loans and advances, we have seen uh, uh, healthy credit uh, growth towards agriculture and fishing, industry and services sector uh, also picking up uh, as well. Um, and uh, it has to be mentioned that credit obtained by the public sector, including the government and the public corporations, uh, that has also been quite high. It was high in 2020. Uh, it has been substantial in 2021 as well. And with uh, the overall increase in domestic credit, uh, broad money growth has also uh, remained uh, at high levels. At the moment, broad money growth is uh, at 21.5% uh, year on year. Uh, at the end of 2020, it was at 23.4%. The gradual slowdown in broad money growth uh, is uh, due to uh, the base effect coming into uh, place. Uh, at the same time, you can see the decline in net foreign assets side of the monetary expansion as well. Um, moving on to the external sector, uh, we saw uh, the trade deficit widening. Uh, in the first uh, six, seven months of the year. Uh, in uh, the first uh, half of 2021, export earnings amounted to 5.7 billion US dollars. Expenditure on imports amounted to uh, just above 10 billion US dollars. That gave us the trade deficit of 4.3 billion US dollars in the first half of uh, 
2021 compared to a trade deficit of 3.3 billion in the first half of 2020. So a part of uh, this uh, expansion in the trade deficit can be explained by the, the increase in uh, the fuel bill of the country. But at the same time, the non-fuel imports have also increased as shown in the chart at the bottom uh, here. So at the moment, on a monthly average basis, non-fuel imports, uh, particularly the intermediate goods imports, are also uh, at a higher level than in 2020, as well as in two, uh, 2019. Um, and uh, looking at the tourism sector, uh, so this, uh, whether we can uh, uh, attract more and more tourists depends on uh, what uh, is happening with the COVID pandemic globally. Uh, and uh, we are still hopeful, but uh, as we are all aware, there are risks uh, to uh, uh, the attracting, uh, uh, I will say that again. I mean, uh, so essentially, I mean, it's very difficult to project uh, the tourism inflows this year because the, the situation is so fluid. But uh, obviously, the government is taking uh, attempts to, uh, to attract tourists. And uh, hopefully, towards the end of this year, if there is a recovery in global tourism, uh, then I think uh, we will be able to uh, manage attracting a substantial amount of tourists from the end of this year. Looking at workers' remittances, um, workers' remittances saw uh, healthy growth uh, in the, sec in the second half of 2020, as well as the first few months of 2021. But during the months of June and July, these are the latest numbers that we uh, have compiled uh, yesterday on workers' remittances. During the month of July, workers' remittances have declined on a year-on-year -year basis, <coughs> just like we observed in the month of June. Uh, so there has been a substantial year-on-year year decline in workers' remittances during those two months. But overall, thus far during the year, workers' remittances have increased by 2.6%, uh, up to uh, 3.8 billion uh, US dollars. In 2020, workers' remittances grew by 5.8%. So this uh, decline in uh, the officially recorded workers' remittances can be attributed, as Governor stated earlier, to, uh, to uh, the discrepancy that is prevailing in the official market as well as the unofficial uh, market. Um, and uh, the limited conversion by uh, exporters as well as advancing imports together with speculative activity prompted by anomalies between interest rates uh, on uh, uh, rupee and foreign currency products in the financial market uh, has ex exerted the undue uh, pressure on the exchange rate in the domestic uh, market. What is shown here uh, is the weighted average exchange rate in the interbank market. Uh, the interbank market has been uh, quite dull and the, the exchange rate in the interbank market uh, has remained uh, stable uh, at these levels. But uh, as we are all aware, uh, in the banking system, as well as uh, in the grey market, uh, the exchange rates have been uh, quite volatile, and uh, we are of the view that the measures that were taken uh, by the monetary board will help stabilize uh, the exchange rate as well. Thus far during the year, this official weighted average exchange rate in the interbank market has depreciated by 6.7%, and the rupee has depreciated against several uh, other currencies as well. Official reserves were estimated at uh, US dollars 2.8 billion at the end of uh, July. Uh, and uh, this uh, excludes uh, swap facility with the People's Bank of uh, China. And uh, we uh, uh, expect that uh, official reserves will be uh, reinforced in the near term with measures that are being taken by the gov government and the central bank to secure foreign financing from several sources, as governor explained uh, earlier. Moving on to inflation, uh, inflation remained uh, moderate. Uh, we have seen some acceleration. Uh, as you can see, uh, food inflation has been quite high. We have seen some acceleration in non-food inflation uh, also, but not to uh, uh, an extent where we should be concerned uh, of that. Uh, 
looking at the, the projections on inflation, uh, in uh, 2021, we expect inflation to uh, remain between the desired 4 to 6 percent uh, target uh, range. In uh, 2022, there could be some inflation pressures. <coughs> uh, and uh, it is one reason uh, that was uh, that were one factor that was considered by the market board in, uh, in uh, arriving at uh, the decisions. And uh, there has been a high level of uh, market liquidity from the beginning of 2020. And uh, in uh, 2021, market liquidity has gradually declined and at the moment uh, remains at uh, deficit uh, levels. With that, the average weighted call money market uh, rate has, has also started moving from the lower bound of the policy interest rate corridor to the upper bound. And the upward adjustment uh, in uh, market interest rates and the expected liquidity deficit in the domestic money market would also help the economy to absorb uh, the a part of uh, uh, the amount of currency held by the public, uh, uh, which uh, we have observed to be quite large since the onset of the pandemic in uh, early 2020. So if you took a look at the currency movements, uh, since uh, in February, from in February until in 2020, uh, currency in circulation uh, has increased by 151 billion rupees. And uh, thus far during 2021 also, currency in circulation has increased by 133 billion rupees. So we are looking at uh, more than 280 billion uh, increase in currency in circulation since the onset of the pandemic. And uh, obviously with higher uh, market uh, deposit rates and also with uh, a liquidity deficit in the uh, interbank market, we uh, expect uh, the banks to absorb uh, a large part of this uh, currency in circulation out there uh, and uh, route them to uh, more productive uh, purposes. So in consideration of uh, the current uh, and expected macroeconomic developments discussed uh, as earlier, the monetary board decided to roll back some extraordinary support provided uh, to the economy at the onset of the pandemic. Uh, and uh, the central bank will continue to monitor domestic and global macroeconomic and financial market developments and take appropriate measures to ensure that the economy reverts to its potential while maintaining inflation in the targeted 4 to 6% range under its flexible inflation targeting uh, framework. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Chandranan. I go on. Other than a Sri Lanka Mahabanki Mudal Mandale, the Das Visika Vasarata Nimitu, Hyavana Mudal Pratipati were an Eprakashi Patkala, Ehidi, Adipatuma Sandahan Kalaparidi. May the Kasiduka Atisha, Pratipati Hilkirin, Ampramanic Rat Pasuharomin, Sri Lanka Mahabanko, Siamudal Pratipati Stavre, Dedicated Tiranekala. Eanu, Pratipati Polyanupatica, and I'm Mithia and Patapasuka Manupatike, see the Padaqua, Mithia Naipasuka Manupatike, see the Hyadaqua, Padanamanka, Panakin, Yelangua. Tavade, Balapatra Bivani, the Banku Veteti, Sieluma, Rupia and Patuakim Sandaha, Dala Vavasta, Pita Sanchita Rupate. Sita Hatrak Dakwa Patishatanka Dekakin Ihelangua. Ihel Artik Vardana Pekshamade, Artike Videshanse Saha, Mole Valatumpole Pavatin, Asamatulatawa and Pilium Medima Minma, Medicalinum Adika Udumana Pidana Atrium Velakim Sandhat, Mimatira Nevahalvanueti. Mematirna Sandha Elambi Medi, Sri Lanka Mahabanki Mudal Mandale, then at a Pavatina Deshi, Minma Golia Sarva Artik Pramata Saha, a Pekshita Sarva Artik Pramata the Salaka Belua. Mamada Nemakarno Itaki and Nidipat Kirimata Balapur Tuino. A Mulin Mapi Goli Artike the Sigamu Goli Artike, the Das Viseka Vasaredi, see at Hayek in the Das Viseka Vasaredi, see at Hatra the Shonamak in the Vardanion Vetai, Puro Katanekara Tibino. Vasanga de Hamue, Sapiuma, Illum Nogalapi, Maitwin, Boho Ratavala, Tava Kali Kamilapida Natuna. Even if Tava Kali Kamilapida, Pratipati Hil Kirima Hatwin, Digukali Navi Haki Bevin. At the Mahabanko Mudal Pratipat, the Dedicari Mavan Mitatara Matar Latino. It Amatra, Tavat Mahaban Quidricari, the Mudal Pratipat, the Dedicar Nati Bavata, Puru and Grims to Karatibino. The Das Visa Vasaradi, Tuladi, Balapam, Pasubam, Laku, Sri Lanka Artike, Sri Lanka Mahabanku, Minma, Raja Utej, Kriamargo, Sahain, Kramen, Yatata Patamin, Pavatino, 
කොවිඩ් 19 වසංගතය නැවත ව්‍යාප්ත වීම හේතුවෙන් ආර්ථික කටයුතුවලට යම් බාධා ඇති විය හැකි. එහෙත් කොවිඩ් 19 එන්නත් කිරීමේ වැඩසටහන සාර්ථකව ක්‍රියාත්මක කිරීම සහ තෝරාගත් සංචරණ සීමා පමණක් පැනවීමත් සමග ඉදිරි කාලයේ තුලදී ආර්ථික ක්‍රියාකාරීත්වය තිරසාරව පවතින නැතයි අපි විශ්වාස කරනවා. දැනට පවතින දත්ත අනුව 2021 වසර තුලදී ආර්ථිකය 105කට වඩා ඉහළ අගයකින් අවර්ධන වෙන නැතයි අපි පුරෝගතනය කරනවා. ලිහිල් මුදල් ප්‍රතිපත්ති ක්‍රියා මාර්ග ක්‍රමයෙන් ක්‍රමයෙන් සම්ප්‍රේෂණය වීමත් සමග බොහෝ වෙනදපල තැන්පතු සහ නයපොලි අනුපාතික ඉතිහාසයේ මිතික් වාර්තා වූ අවම් මට්ටම් දක්වා අඩු වුණා. පෞද්ගලික අංශයේ වෙත ලබා දුන් අයද 2021 වසරේ පළමු භාගයේ තුලදී සැලකිය යුතු ලෙස ප්‍රසාරණය වුණා. බැංකු පද්ධතිය මගින් රජය වෙත ලබා දුන් ශුද්ධ නයද සැලකිය යුතු ලෙස ඉහළ ගියා. ඒ අනුව පුළුල් මුදල් සැපයුමේ වර්ධනය අඛණ්ඩව ඉහළ මට්ටමක පැවතුණා. प्रमादेश पीड़न उदमी आहार उद्दमने मिन्म आहार नोन कांडे उद्दमने द यम इहले यमा क्वार्टा वी महेतुएन पशुगी मास की पे तुले उद्दमने किसी यम इहले यमा क्वार्टा कला मिम्म वासर तुले उद्दमने आपेक्षित सी एट हतरा थायत तत्र इलक्का तपरासी इहले सी मावे पावतुने ता यपि आपेक्षा करनवा समस्त इल्लु में आपेक्षित वार्धनियन उद्दमन व्याप्ति පොලි අනුපාත ගිහල යාම සහ දේශීය මුදල් වෙළඳ පොලේ අපේක්ෂිත ද්‍රවශීලතා හිඟේ හරහා මහ ජනතාව සතු සතුව පවතින විශාල මුදල් ප්‍රමාණයක් ආර්ථිකයට අවශෝෂණ කර ගැනීමට ද උපකාරී වෙනු ඇතැයි අපි විශ්වාස කරනවා ස්තුතියි අනේ වෙල්කම් කාලේ වන කරල් නානී චබියානද නේට නඩේපෙට අදනද කූටතිල් अदन कॉल के बाद टीवी दंगल आना तो नए नील वाइपो हसदी वीरम मैटम तो नए नील कार्डन वालंगल वीस वासदी वीरम एन एन बावटी नहीं आइन बदल आड़ी पड़े पुलिस का नाल मोरीय आइन जो सदा वीदत तिक्कम आर सदा वीदत तिक्कम आधीर पदत तीर मानी तो लगे इधर कमेल दिखा माखा टंडार्टी त्रिवती ओरा मांडिन सेप्ट मुनकूटे उलपुर 
அதே போல இரண்டாம் காலாண்டிலும் கடந்த ஆண்டில் காணப்பட்ட சடுதியான வீழ்ச்சியினை அஹ் வீழ்ச்சியினால் ஆதரவு அளிக்கப்பட்டு இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி ஓராம் ஆண்டின் இரண்டாம் கால பகுதியிலே ஒரு அதிகமான வளர்ச்சி ஒன்று எதிர்பார்க்கப்படுகின்றது இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி ஓராம் ஆண்டின் இரண்டாம் அரை பகுதியிலே அஹ் உலகளாவிய நோய் தொற்று பரம்பல் காரணமாக ஒரு இடையூறு ஒன்று எதிர்பார்க்கப்பட்ட பொழுதிலும் அஹ் தற்பொழுதும் நடைமுறைப்படுத்தப்பட்டு வருகின்ற கோவிட் பத்தொன்பது தடுப்பு மருந்து நிகழ்ச்சி திட்டம் மற்றும் அஹ் தெரிவு செய்யப்பட்ட நடைமுறை நடமாட்டம் மீதான கட்டுப்பாடுகளினால் ஆதரவு அளிக்கப்பட்டு வளர்ச்சியானது வளர்ச்சி மீதான தாக்கமானது குறைவாக காணப்படும் என எதிர்பார்க்கப்படுகின்றது தற்போதுள்ள எறிவுகளின் அடிப்படையிலே இலங்கையின் பொருளாதாரமானது இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி ஓராம் ஆண்டிலே ஐந்து சதவீதத்தினை விஞ்சிய வளர்ச்சி ஒன்றினை பதிவு செய்யும் என எதிர்பார்க்கப்படுகின்றது அஹ் இலங்கையின் அஹ் சந்தி வட்டி வீதங்களின் நோக்கமாக இருந்தால் அது ஒரு குறைந்த மட்டத்திலே அஹ் எய்தி தனியார் துறைக்கான கொடுகணங்கள் மீது ஒரு அதிகரிப்பினை ஏற்படுத்தி உள்ளது தனியார் துறைக்கான கொடுகணானது இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி ஓராம் ஆண்டின் முதல் அரை பகுதியிலே இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபது மற்றும் பத்தொன்பதாம் ஆண்டு ஆண்டு முழுவதற்குமான வளர்ச்சி தனியார் கொடுகடன் கடன் கடனை விட ஒரு அதிகரித்த வளர்ச்சி ஒன்றினை பதிவு செய்துள்ளது அதே போல அரசு துறைக்கான கொடுகடனும் ஒரு மிதமிஞ்சிய வளர்ச்சி ஒன்றினை பதிவு செய்து இதன் காரணமாக விரிந்த பணம் நிரம்பலானது ஒரு உயர்ந்த மட்டத்தில் தொடர்ந்தும் காணப்படுகின்றது வெளிநாட்டு துறையினை பொறுத்தவரையிலே அது தொடர்ந்தும் எண்ணற்ற சவால்களுக்கு முகம் கொடுத்து ஒரு ஒருங்கிணைக்கப்பட்ட வழிமுறைகளினை வேண்டி நிற்கின்றது அஹ் தனியார் துறைக்கு குறைந்த அளவிலான குறைந்த செலவிலான கடன் வளங்கள் கிடைக்க செய்வதற்கு இயல் அளிக்கப்பட்ட வளர்ச்சிக்கு சாதகமான தூண்டல் வழிமுறைகளினால் ஆதரவு அளிக்கப்பட்டு அஹ் வணிக பொருள் இறக்குமதிகள் தொடர்ச்சியான அதிகரிப்பு ஒன்றினை இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபதாம் ஆண்டின் நடுப்பகுதியில் இருந்து தொடர்ச்சியாக பதிவு செய்துள்ளன ஏற்றுமதி வருவாய்கள் மீது ஒரு அளவு வளர்ச்சி ஒன்றும் பதிவு செய்யப்பட்ட பொழுதிலும் இந்த அதிகரித்த இறக்குமதி செலவினமானது வர்த்தக பற்றாக்குறையினை இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபதாம் இருபத்தி ஓராம் ஆண்டின் முதல் அரை பகுதியிலே விரிவடைய செய்துள்ளது அதே போல தற்பொழுது உலகளாவிய நோய் தொற்று மீள உருவாகி வருவதன் காரணமாக சுற்றுலா துறையிலே ஏற்பட்ட எதிர்பார்க்கப்பட்ட முயற்சியானது தாமதப்படுத்தப்படக்கூடும் அதே போல இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபதாம் ஆண்டு நடுப்பகுதியில் இருந்து இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி ஓராம் ஆண்டின் முதல் சில மாதங்களிலும் ஒரு வளர்ச்சி உத்தவகத்தினை பதிவு செய்த தொழிலாளர் பண அனுப்புதல்களும் அண்மை மாதங்களிலே சில தளர்ச்சி ஒன்றினை பதிவு செய்துள்ளன அஹ் அல்வர் சால் ஒதுக்குகளினை நோக்குவமாக இருந்தால் அது அஹ் ரெண்டு தசம் எட்டு பில்லியன் ஐக்கிய அமெரிக்க டாலர்களாக காணப்பட்டு ஒன்று தசம் எட்டு மாதங்களுக்கான இறக்குமதிகளுக்கு போதுமானதாக காணப்படுகின்றது இது சீன மக்கள் வங்கியுடனான பரஸ்பர இருபடை வசதியினை உள்ளடக்கவில்லை அரசினாலும் மத்திய வங்கியினாலும் மேற்கொள்ளப்படுகின்ற பல்வேறு வழிமுறைகளுக்கு பதில் இருக்கும் வகையிலே எதிர்வரும் காலப்பகுதியிலே வெளிநாட்டு செலாவணி உட்பாச்சுகள் அதிகரித்து அலுவல் சார் ஒதுக்குகள் மீள கட்டியெடுக்கப்படும் என எதிர்பார்க்கப்படுகின்றது பணவீக்கத்தினை நோக்குவமாக இருந்தால் ஆண்டின் ஆரம்ப கால பகுதியிலே தாழ்ந்ததாக காணப்பட்ட பணவீக்கமானது உயர்ந்த உணவு பணவீக்கம் மற்றும் உணவெல்லா பணவீக்கத்தில் ஏற்பட்ட ஒரு மிதமான விரைவடுதலின் காரணமாக நடுத்தர காலத்திலே ரெண்டு நான்கு தொடக்கம் ஆறு சதவீதமான இலக்கிடப்பட்ட மட்டத்தின் மேல் எல்லை வரையில் காணப்படும் என எதிர்பார்க்கப்படுகின்றது அதே போல உலக திரண்ட கேள்வியிலே எதிர்பார்க்கப்படுகின்ற அதிகரிப்பு அதே போல உலகளாவிய ரீதியிலே வலு மற்றும் ஏனைய பண்டங்கள் மீது எதிர்பார்க்கப்படுகின்ற விலைகளிலான முயற்சி என்பவற்றின் காரணமாக நடுத்தர காலத்தில் பணவீக்க அழுத்தங்கள் அஹ் இருப்பதற்கு எறிவு கூடப்படுவதுடன் அதனை இல்லாதொழிப்பதற்கான வழிமுறைகளினை தேவைப்படுத்தி இருக்கின்றன அஹ் மேற்கூறப்பட்ட தற்போதைய மற்றும் எதிர்பார்க்கப்படுகின்ற பேரண்ட அபிவிருத்திகளினை கவனத்தில் கொடுத்த கவனத்தில் கொண்ட நாணய சபையானது கோவிட் பத்தொன்பது உலகளாவிய நோய் தொற்று தொடக்கத்தில் கால பகுதியிலே பொருளாதாரத்துக்கு வழங்க வழங்கப்பட்ட அதிவிசேட ஆதரவினை குறைத்துக் கொள்வதற்கு தீர்மானித்துள்ளது உள்நாட்டு நிதியியல் சந்தைகளிலும் பொருளாதாரத்தின் அஹ் உள்நாட்டு துறையிலும் நிலவுகின்ற சமமின்னைகளை சீர்படுத்துகின்ற அதே வேளை நடுத்தர காலத்தின் மீதான ஏதேனும் மிதமிஞ்சிய பணவீக்க அழுத்தங்கள் தோற்றம் பெறுவதனை முன்கூட்டியே கையாள்வதற்கும் 
இவ்வாறான பேரண்ட பொருளாதார உறுதிப்பாட்டுக்கும் இவ்வாறான கொள்கை வழி தீர்மானங்கள் புனியளிக்கும் என நாணய சபை எதிர்பார்க்க எதிர்பார்க்கின்றது சந்தை வட்டி வீதங்களில் மேல்நோக்கிய சீர் சீர்திருத்தங்கள் மற்றும் உள்நாட்டு பணச்சந்தையில் எதிர்பார்க்கப்படும் திரவத்தன்மை பற்றாக்குறையும் இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபதின் ஆரம்ப காலத்தில் உலகளாவிய நோய் தொற்று தொடங்கியதில் இருந்து அவதானிக்கப்பட்ட பொதுமக்கள் பொதுமக்கள் வசம் இருந்த பணத்திலே பணத்தினை மீள ஈர்த்துக் கொள்வதற்கு வசதி அளிக்கும் என எதிர்பார்க்கப்படுகின்றது மத்திய வங்கியானது உள்நாட்டு உள்நாட்டு மற்றும் உலகளாவிய பேரண்ட பொருளாதாரம் மற்றும் நிதியல் சந்தை அபிவிருத்திகளை தொடர்ந்தும் அவதானித்து வரும் என்பதுடன் பொருளாதாரமானது அதன் இயலளவினை நோக்கி மீள திரும்புவதனையும் பணவீக்கமானது இலக்கிடப்பட்ட மட்டமான நான்கு தொடக்கம் ஆறு சதவீத மட்டங்களில் பேணப்படுவதனையும் உறுதி செய்வதற்கு பொருத்தமான வழிமுறைகளை மேற்கொள்வதற்கு தயாராக இருக்கும் நன்றி தேங்க்யூ but uh, we will open the floor uh, for further clarifications as you are aware um, you can ask questions live and uh, you can use the raise hand option uh, on zoom and we will give the mic for you uh, please mention your name and institution before uh, asking questions you can uh, also use the uh, q and a and the chat options on zoom to uh, send your written questions um and uh, we have already received some questions uh, into chat and also we have uh, some journalists wanting to ask uh, using the raised hand option so i'll give the mic to um um sihaz anis to um ask the first question from the panel thank you yes uh, mr anis please ask your question thank you. Dawna, uh, this is from us. There was a press uh, release from the central bank saying that uh, you know this uh, devaluation story was wrong. That's true. But uh, the banks actually are selling it uh, today. It's at 100, 290. So what? What's the what's the official position of the central bank on on the rupee? Uh, is it kind of you have allowed the flexible exchange rate to the market to uh, market to decide the rates? In terms of the official position of the central bank. the exchange rate uh, remains at the uh, levels which we agreed with the banks on a uh, gentlemen's agreement basis to maintain that is uh, uh, less than 200 and 2 or 203 uh, that position remains unchanged but of course we are aware of the uh, deviations from that rate uh, both in the formal markets as and also in the uh, informal markets uh, we will have to uh, ex- expect some effect on this uh, uh, through the measures which have been taken uh, today and announced and also we will look into further possibilities of uh, bridging the gap but uh, formally uh, we have not changed the exchange rate of the country official exchange rate of the country remains thank you one more question uh, governor now uh, we see the inflation uh, inflation is uh, on a, on a upward trend uh, is it because of uh, excess money printing you now which is been widely discussed is it because of demand pull inflation or supply uh, short inflation supply shortage i think mostly it is supply led yet uh, for example the food price increase uh, increases are leading the way uh, domestically and also overseas uh, the price hikes in uh, uh, various key commodities which are coming uh, into our uh, use uh, through imports particularly uh, fuel prices uh so these are also in a way kind of from our point of view supply driven uh of course uh, internationally it is probably because of the these price increases are probably because of the increasing global demand uh with the 
uh, picking up on the economies around the world. Uh, there is the fear uh, of uh, some demand pressures uh, affecting the inflation. Uh, that is why some of these preventive measures have been taken uh, yesterday. Yeah. Uh, 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 last one, uh, the, the, the interbank trade, we, we hear from the banks that the interbank uh, trade, uh, trade is uh, on forex uh, is not allowed from April. Uh, uh, when will the central bank uh, be allowing for that, uh, Governor? The question is not very clear to me. Mrs. Fernando, can you, do you understand the question? Yeah, can can Mr. Mahindra Fernando, Director IOD, please respond? Okay, I'll, I'll um, give the mic to uh, Mr. Mahindra. Yes, I think uh, the question is not interbank transactions. I, uh, it should be interbank forward transactions. That's right, that's right. Yeah, forward transactions, but for the time being, uh, they still remain that... Uh, and uh, we will reconsider uh, after some time, after uh, that our market become normal, then uh, we can reconsider it. Only for uh, foreign exchange, forward markets, transactions. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mahinda, um, Fernando, and um, Governor, if I may, um, Mr. Siha Anis Hapu Prasne, signaling Altino, uh, Mr. Shamanwan Ganevat. Pradhan was same as near Alatine, exchange the taker, Pangia, Kale Tula, Yamkis Tower, Matamaka Pautuna, Namut Matha, Daskeeper, Belut, Tema, Yam, which will make a lacula Tino, Megana, singling Mankanic, Avana, Padlikirima, Kalanang, may single beaver set up Mankanic, a provision of three. Thank you. Can you take it up? Awesome. Uh, then, uh, Antar Banku, Nila, Vilnapoli, Barita Sama, Nanupati, Tamai, Kasianuname, can this year are doing within Namuta, Apidakriti, no, Pedrikur, with theatre, Vilnapolit, Vidimat Vilnapolit, the Wagima, Vidipat Vilnapolit, Nitwada, Vinas, Vinimi Anupati, Ati Villa, Tienoki, Adipatma Karin San Hankari. Then ye got the tirna, but in goodak Terlatine Rupial, a can Anna and a Kaduant Rupial Matter Tiena via the medical and caustic medical, Rupi caustic medical and Nicapetaki, Eva Gima, Apana and Kaduant, the Rimatkaran Nayavalin Nayar again, Apana and Adayam. Rupiah World Parivartane Nukar in Natua, E. Panayana Adam, Rupiah World Parivartane Karan, the Rimat Kantama, E. Me, the Val Pratipati, Tirna, Mudalman Livisin Gatti, Pihitanoa, Vidrika Lady, me Vidish Vinime Vendapoli, me Tina Prashne, Vinime Anapatika Prashne, Tikak Durkata Magheri, me Pratipati, Poly Anapatika. Thank you, Dr. Amar Shekhar. Um, Mr. Asanta Siriman wants to ask a question. Uh, you can ask a question now, uh, Siriman. Uh, uh, hello, yeah, I, I want to ask three questions. Governor mentioned about controlling excessive uh, dollar deposit trade. Is this only for exporters or for everyone? Or what is the ceiling rate that you are thinking of? Uh, question two is, uh, the finance minister had said that there was a, that's going to be like 4% central bank uh, supported uh, scheme for state enterprises. This is going to be from central bank refinance. And 
what is the volume uh, that you uh, you are thinking of or what cabinet has asked for uh, and third question is about this uh, ceiling rate fund treasury bill option will you keep them on or will you gradually uh, remove them the question is about uh, caps on uh, uh, deposit rates on uh, foreign exchange uh, whether it is uh, from all the foreign exchange or from uh, certain types of foreign exchange uh, deposit i think our intention is to uh, uh, impose this restriction so the caps on uh, deposit rates on export earnings that are kept in foreign currency accounts and on those to put a cap because there is a uh, desirable uh, difference between uh, exchange rate uh, between uh, the rates that are paid on uh, those deposits and also the rates that have to be paid on uh, rupee uh, loans in order to Uh, sort out the problems created by this this is one of the measures that is proposed the second question mr shermanna is about the cabinet decision regarding uh, funding of state enterprises we are still uh, thinking about it how to handle this issue uh, so no decision is yet taken at the central bank level then the uh, treasury bill rate uh, maximum uh, yield rate announcements that we will continue uh, with for some time and of course uh, there would have been a little increase in the rates that are offered uh, weekly these are uh, my sort of uh, general uh, responses to those three questions Uh, without going into very exact uh, uh, quantitative uh, responses if there is anything to be further explained using numbers uh, one of our officials will address those questions no governor thank you very much just one question more uh, regarding with the uh, this article for article for consultations with the central bank sorry with the imf and the technical discussions is there any discussions on uh, a debt sustainability analysis and and actually trying to uh, take action on that uh, using that for for central bank or the government uh, in the debt management in the future the final uh, part of this for this year the article 4 uh, consultations uh, will be held towards the end of this year but uh, we are continuing with discussions uh, with central bank people uh, through through internet uh, and in fact uh, there was a, a discussion about a few few weeks ago uh, in which several imf officials and central bank senior officials participated uh, discussing the relevant issues which are relevant for the article 4 uh, consultations thank you uh, thank you governor um saltet uh, question came uh, into chat uh, from uh, miriam uh, zinat this is about a clarification that she is asking on uh, the sop uh, facility with the bangladesh bank in terms of the tranches uh, the timing uh and the amount and also the how much we are expecting from the china development bank uh and the currency of it um and another uh, sort of separate question is that um certain banks uh, sort of uh, have informed their customers that they are charging up uh, sort of uh, 2.5 to 7% uh on uh, foreign currency transactions made via debit and credit cards so is the central bank uh, aware of uh, such a thing and uh, was the central bank's view on that so the first 
I think first two questions about the uh, SOC facilities uh, can be answered by Deputy Governor, Mr. Mayan Sirwadana, and the uh, last question uh, by uh, Deputy Governor, Mrs. Uh, Hewitt Fernand, uh, please. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, for the first question, that is the uh, SOC facility from the Bangladesh uh, Bank. In fact, uh, you will be getting a, a tranche of uh, 50 million US dollars uh, this week. And another 100 million, I think, after five days, uh, five working days, and then another 50 million uh, within another similar period. Of this month, we're getting uh, 200 million. Uh, I think the balance number, I think uh, um, Dr. Uh, Amra Sekar can respond to the second question about the remainder of this uh, China Development Bank number. Um, on the second one, uh, essentially, I mean, there is a, there is a loan to the to the government, and uh, the, I think the government is a, in a better position to answer this. But uh, from what we uh, have been told, uh, so essentially, I mean, there is uh, there is a syndicated loan facility with the uh, uh, China Development Bank that was uh, uh, that was agreed on in 2020, and uh, there is the final tranche. And as per the agreement, uh, the first two tranches were of uh, one billion US dollars. Uh, that was uh, supposed to be in US dollars, and the last tranche of uh, uh, three hundred million US dollars uh, was supposed to be in uh, Chinese uh, yuan. Uh, so that is what uh, the the recent uh, uh, media reports have been uh, about: uh, the three hundred million US dollars equivalent in. Uh, Chinese yuan, uh, uh, that's the last tranche of the CDB uh, facility that uh, the market is talking about. Uh, according to uh, the treasury sources, we are expecting this uh, uh, very soon. I mean, within uh, this month uh, is what we hear from the treasury. Deputy Governor, Mrs. Uh, Fernando, uh, you have a response for the uh, last question with regard to the charges that some certain banks uh, yes. are announcing for the customers? Yes, doctor, I, I think uh, yeah. this has been raised a few days ago also. One of the journalists spoke to me also, and I checked about it. Now, we only have an interest rate cap on the credit cards that is imposed by the central bank, which says 18% per annum. So beyond that, uh, there are no charges fixed by the central bank or given any limits. So. I think uh, we need to look at this and uh, we'll have to uh, kind of uh, identify it with the respective banks and see what exactly uh, this is and then uh, how we can, uh, what it really means. Uh, as an interest rate, what we have charged, what we have kind of imposed is maximum 18% per annum that can be charged as interest rate. Thank you, uh, Deputy Governor. Um, I see Ms. David Ebert uh, wants to raise a question. Uh, um, you can ask a question now, uh, Mr. Ibrahim. Yes, uh, yes, thank you. Uh, Governor, uh, I think what, what we were referring to about the phase rising in, in bank credit card uh, transaction was basically on overseas credit card transactions, which apparently, according to reports, are being raised from 2.5% to between 6 to 7% by some banks. What I would like to know is, is this a justifiable increase right now, and, and will the central bank be addressing this issue with them? Isn't this the question which uh, Mrs. Fernandez right. asked? Or do you further, further uh, elucidation, explanation required? Yes, that will be fine. A bit, bit more explanation on what, what the impact of this would be on, on people, on any consumers who are making transactions, because apparently this has. Uh, reportedly increase the dollar rate to they are, they are paying basically up to 220 to 230 dollars with this uh, uh, new uh, you know, hike in the rate uh, but i would like to know is the uh, governor is there anything that the central bank can do about this or is this up to just the commercial banks themselves um deputy governor mrs fernando you have any further response to uh, that question or, um yeah, so that's what I meant to say that uh, we will look at this uh, with the international operations department because this is, uh, as uh, he explained, it is relating to the foreign exchange transactions from the credit cards. 
So along with the international operations department, uh, we'll have to take we'll take it up with the respective banks to see exactly what it is and uh, what we can. I have do. no question uh, for the governor. If you please, uh, governor, uh, you mentioned yeah. earlier during your uh, interest that there's been a reduction in remittances through uh, formal methods. Mm. Uh, does this mean that uh, that remittances are coming in through more informal routes and uh, the central bank have any? and in place to regulate or curb these uh, routes? Yes, uh, we have observed. Uh, now, last year, there was a very discernible uh, increase in uh, these remittances last year. And this year also, in the first few months, there was a gradual increase in the uh, remittances of uh, volumes. Uh, but over the last uh, couple of months, there is a distinct uh, decline in the amount of uh, uh, amount of uh, remittances compared from month to month as well as from year, year to year uh, compared to the months of the, the, the same period last year. Uh, so we suspect this is not a genuine decline in the remittances into Sri Lanka. But we think that uh, this may be a, a, a change in the form in which the remittances are sent to family members and all that. Uh, that is why we, uh, we suspected, or we expressed the opinion that uh, or, or in, uh, in discussing this subject, that is why I have very specifically mentioned uh, the monies that are coming through the formal channels. Those words were used because of this uh, suspicion. In fact, this happens in not only remittances, but uh, <coughs> we also know uh, the, the, that this is happening in uh, some export sectors like uh, gems and jewelry. Uh, this has been a perennial issue in Sri Lanka. Uh, so this is a suspicion which is probably uh, based on very sound condition, sound grounds. Thank you very much. Thank you, Governor. Um, there's another question uh, in chat about the our plans, if there are uh, to access capital markets. That, uh, with some reference to our previous attempts to go to Samurai and uh, Pandabon's market. Um, Deputy Governor, Mr. Damikana Nehkara, uh, would you like to respond to that question, please? Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, uh, Harish, would you please uh, read that question for me? Uh, yeah, if I read the question, uh, has the Monetary Board looked into issuing the previously pursued the Samurai and Panda Bonds as a mechanism of return into the capital markets? Um, yeah, thank you very much for that question. Uh, I think, uh, uh, as highlighted during the previous discussions, the government is uh, currently uh, looking at uh, the alternative uh, conventional and uh, non-conventional non financial sources. Uh, and it is in the forming of uh, the budget for 2022. I think... Uh, uh, there will be a clear indication from the government side because the, the borrowing decision is going to be the government's and then central bank as the, uh, uh, is performing an agency function and then uh, will be executing uh, the plans of the government. I'm sure uh, these are uh, alternative financing sources available for the government, definitely uh, looking at the merits and then also other sources this also will be factored into uh, its uh, foreign financing plans and which will be clearly articulated in the uh, upcoming budget for 2022, please. The options are still available, actually. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Governor. Um, there's another question uh, about the, um, the uh, sort of a length of the uh, monetary easing and the period uh, during which the stimulus uh, was provided uh, to um, the basically the question is about the central bank is concerned about the uh, 
period uh, for which the monetary stimulus was provided to the economy, whether uh, that has only helped uh, certain borrowers at the uh, expense of uh, some uh, savers. Um, Dr. Amar Sekhar would uh, perhaps want to um, just respond uh, to that question, please. Much, Dr. Harishchandra. Uh, so essentially, I mean, during the monetary easing cycles, those are the very valid uh, uh, queries raised. And uh, obviously what we see is uh, when uh, the central bank reduces policy interest rates and uh, injects liquidity to the market, then the deposit interest rates uh, decline drastically. Uh, and at the same time, uh, the, the market interest rates, the lending rates also start responding from the very short term, starting from the very short term market interest rates and also transmitting to the other market interest rates. So that's exactly what we uh, saw happening in the last uh, easing cycle uh, as well. We saw deposit interest rates declining. We saw prime lending rates declining. At the same time, we saw the other market lending rates also declining. So as I explained uh, uh, in the presentation, uh, even the overall market lending rates have also declined substantially. And uh, I showed some computations on the saving to borrowers. Uh, and uh, obviously, I mean, not only the prime uh, borrowers, but the other borrowers have also got this benefit. But on the other hand, uh, that would also mean that uh, because the banks are playing uh, an intermediary role in the market, they're collecting uh, uh, savings and uh, lending it to uh, the people who need that. So obviously the flip side is that the savings interest rates uh, uh, would uh, have been lower, but uh, with yesterday's uh, decision to adjust uh, policy interest rates and to absorb a part of liquidity, uh, I'm sure the banks will start offering higher, uh, higher uh, deposit rates to uh, savers, particularly to absorb the large amount of uh, currency in circulation that is out, uh, out there, as I highlighted in the presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Amashekar. Another sort of question with regard to the decision uh, to increase the SRR by two percentage points. And the question is, would uh, such an increase uh, result in some strain on the banking sector and uh, cause a further tightening on lending to vulnerable sectors of the economy? You want me to... Uh, Dr. Amasekar would uh, want to respond, please. Thank you. And uh, so essentially what you're saying is right. There, it, it, it would put considerable strain on the banking sector. Uh, but one comfort factor... Uh, is that, uh, as I said earlier, there is a large amount of currency out there uh, in circulation. A part of that uh, amount of currency is definitely due to the precautionary motive uh, because of the pandemic, uh, the multiple waves of the pandemic. But uh, I'm sure the, with higher interest rates, banks will be in a position to absorb a large part of this uh, 280 billion or the amount of uh, excess currency in circulation uh, out uh, there. Uh, and, uh, and also on the other hand, I think uh, I should also add that uh, the, how the open market operations of the central bank work is that any deficit in the uh, domestic, the rupee market, uh, overnight uh, rupee market will be fulfilled by the central bank at the standing uh, lending facility rate, it's a LEPFA, which is at 6%. So uh, the, the market is assured that uh, the interbank market is assured that uh, the central bank is there to, uh, uh, if they need to, uh, to, uh, to obtain uh, uh, funding from the central bank, uh, we uh, do it willingly uh, at 6% uh, uh, interest rates uh, under the, 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 the existing, monetary, uh, ex existing monetary policy corridor, the standing uh, rate corridor. Thank you. Let me also add to this, uh, Harish. Thank you, sir. Uh, in my statement, I have included a statement like this. A mechanism is being worked out to root uh, part of the liquidity absorbed through the increase in SRR uh, towards sustainable economic activities domestically. So 
this includes uh, uh, this is still being considered therefore i do not want to go into it. i do not want to go into details as yet but uh, the, the 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 monetary board is will be considering this and coming out with the package of policies which will uh, uh, ease some of these uh, uh, some of the effects of increasing srr there is also uh, another point which i have to mention we have used the words like easing cycle but that does not mean that the easing cycle uh, monetary policy easing cycle uh, that does not mean uh, that cycle is over and we have got got into a another kind of cycle but uh, we are i must stress that we are still in this cycle although a little uh, adjustment in the interest rates have been made in order to address some of the short term issues short term problems thank you uh, very much uh, um मिस्टर शाम नुवन गनेवत पड़ी है तो दिनांक उत्तर करने हम हम तुम आगे प्रश्न देखे अभी नया किया ला इतने तो मापी है साक्षात कले सिंगलिंग ये प्रश्न देखे मुलीम इन्हीं में अनुपाते संबंध महाबैंकु वे प्रतिपत्ति है तो दाल है वो तुम्हारे प्रश्न में हान फुलवां तब बाद में कैलिफिकेशन का कौन नंग ब्रेस uh until then um, there's another question with regard to sort of uh, you know during the presentations it was mentioned that our reserve level has uh, come down to 2.2 uh, um so i'm sorry 2.8 billion us dollars uh, um in the uh, last month um the question is from uh, mr shar gamage about the central bank's uh, plans to build uh, uh, sort of uh, reserves on a long term basis deputy governor um mr mayan sirwadana or dr amar sekara would uh, perhaps start the response and others also will um, join please yes they will come uh, so uh, essentially the amount of reserves that we uh, observed at the end of uh, july was probably the the, the lowest in uh, some time and uh, we expect reserves to be uh, uh, to to increase by the end of uh, august with the inflows that uh, the, that governor mentioned earlier particularly uh, the 780 million us dollars from the imf uh, sdr allocation and uh, the bangladesh bank swap as well as the china development uh, bank uh, uh tranche that we are expecting uh, so uh, we will be comfortable with a minimal level of uh, 4 billion uh, us dollars of reserves and uh, we also expect that the government would uh, uh, with the assistance of the central bank uh, would uh, continue to find uh, funds uh, to repay the very large amounts of uh, debt service payments that the country has to uh, uh, to meet in the period uh, period ahead but uh, with these uh if we can maintain at least 4 billion us dollars of reserves we will, uh, i think we are in a com relatively comfortable uh, position so there are several uh, measures uh, uh, that we need to take and there are several measures that are in place as well and obviously the the long term measure is that sri lanka's uh, non debt creating flows uh, will have to be increased so that's what the government uh, is working on on a long term basis uh, to support the merchandise exports uh, the services exports uh, and also the inflow of foreign direct investment and other types of uh, inflows in addition to the workers remittances so uh, those are the, the the avenues through which the country can strengthen the economy uh, by uh, by attracting non debt uh, creating inflows they they have to happen but uh, in the short term uh, as uh, we have to meet these very large uh, debt servicing payments we need to find the uh, funds from the uh, from the market uh, even uh, uh, through uh, through uh, uh, sources that could create uh, debt 
and uh, the, the, the government, the central bank, uh, with the assistance of the banking sector as well as the private sector, are working on various sources. Uh, and these are in addition to the, the efforts of the government to divest some of the non-strategic and uh, non-strategic uh, assets that are out there that will also help us to uh, rebuild reserves and also to meet the debt service payments uh, uh, that uh, fall due in the period ahead. Deputy Governor, I wonder whether you have anything. Dr. Abar covered uh, most of the areas. And, and, and one of the very important factors is that uh, uh, I think government also has uh, indicated this so, uh, really, uh, improving or increasing the non-debt creating uh, inflows. So until such uh, inflows are coming, uh, as indicated by Dr. Amar Sekere, it is imp important uh, to have some bridging financing uh, and that uh, would be uh, the, the, the that the government and the uh, assistance of the bank uh, would be a part of those type of financing. So that's the plan. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Deputy Governor. Um, I think that we have to do this. Dr. Dr. ප්‍රශ්න <laughs> 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 Hari, hari. Apa yang Kalamana <laughs> Nah, <laughs> Tapi hema kredit kad beling gaming karena apa hasunang, eka dana ganu nih hema tak cek, ieno ada muka tuh itu eka isandana mana tuh maha bengku ganu piawar kila, <hesitation> eka tamai tina tawa chat box eka tawa prasna tina mangu wede prasna teka dana tahan nih kem, awan yang bisa lewat tuh bagi nih tawa yang prasna hane bagi nih tawa tahan nih kurang isai tawa hari, <hesitation> tawa kena kau dua hari uter den, tawa prasna hane, <hesitation> Balamu apa? <hesitation> 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 <hesit
विशाल लोकु लोकु आनायन प्रमाण थी ना बांध वर्ग थी है प्रधान वाचिएं उदाहरणे के तर पेट्रोलियम आनाय ये वाके हम तवत ये वाके लोकु लोकु दाम पारिपुआ के देवा ये वाके लोकु आनायन थी है मैं अभी हादान ने ये आनायन संधा वित मैं या किसी क्रेडिट लाइन ने कहा ये आनायन एक ना बटवाल लबागे ना अपे करंट जंगम अपनाए नहीं पाए हम बोलते हैं मैं आना है ना निशा इन्हें बार अड़ू कर गान ना एक अलग तरह की नहीं एक दावश देवाल ये बात एक कारण है ताम मैं बांधियाँ देखा संबंध में क्रियात्मक मैं मैं फिर ना अरगा ना तो पुराना ना कि ना प्रदान करने लगा ना ना मैं अपे इधर यही साधा च इलागट में दानेदार के बिना तात्पर्य आता है कि एक बैंक वो किन एलसी ओपन कर लाए वास्ता गिवीम कर गान तब बहरिया वास्ता बन गई यानी बैंक वाले आवश्यक मुदाल हो आ गए ना में आर्मे इटू कराने टे बहु अवस्था वाले लोग पुलवान मुना याम किसी बांड प्रमाण या याम किसी कंटेनर प्रमाण या बाराए तो देखा सी इतने बनो बाव अपने दान नवा ये पिलवाने वो हम वेला है मापी में दिया था ला बैंक की सामग्री साखा छा कर ला ये गिरीम किरी में काटे हुए तो पहासु किरी में प्रयाव प्रयाव लिए का बाव ये कारे नियुक्त वेला ही दिया ये आ रहा हिरावेला तिबिच के बहु आना बहु बहु कंटेनर निदास किरी में ट मध्य बक्र में आने भी नमूद में विलावे है ठीक है कि बेना अडूम आन या किसी दूसरे ने क्रमिया के लम आती है मध्य बक्र में आना नहीं ये वाके में अधिवत्त में मंत्रालय प्रश्न है कहाँ लेके मधी द में दावसल पीलंग का महाबैंक को इसी प्रकार से ये टपक करने बिनी में आनुपात है कि ना शात्यक पद बिना स नमूत वेलंदे पहले तीन बिनी बिनी अनुपाते गुड़ाक पेनास कम तीन वाई क्या नहीं हालू का डे आत भी वेला तीनो डॉलर सं दहाई वाके में बैंक वाले डॉलर बिकुना ना आ गया विशाल यह लग गया वेला तीनो तो आप ही और तो तलाक यू तो काल एक दिसे आप ही हिम देख रहा है ना सात्यक का विनाश नोवी कम � अभी मैं प्रकाशन वाला तो सिंगलिंग इंग्लिश एंकर को प्रकाशन है मैं क्यों मैं क्यों हुआ ये प्रश्न है महान सियारे के ना विषय का अंत तमाह या प्यार नहीं मैं इन्हीं सा ऐसा दहा याम किसी वसी मक याम किसी ऐसी कालयक बलाइन दी मक अवश्य आएगे लम ठीक है बहुत मिस्सू दिया दीपक थैंक यू गवर्नर � uh, sort of another question uh, with regard to uh, credit card uh, transactions and its their use in overseas. The question is basically uh, whether the central bank has requested the banks to uh, limit uh, credit the uh, credit card transactions, especially uh, foreign currency trans transactions uh, uh, using use for online payments and all. This is what Fernando uh, had already explained. Deputy Governor, Deputy Governor has uh, already. Yes, um, yes uh, I already explained. Well, that. Uh, let me let me read out the relevant section of the uh, regulation. Uh, permitted to issue, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, maybe you, these are credit cards. Maybe used for making payments to persons. Resident outside Sri Lanka only in respect of current transactions of personal nature. 
other than for the use of payments for purposes specified there are other purposes uh, specified here uh, what is uh, highlighted is that uh, for business purposes this cannot be done that in fact uh, mrs fernando had tried to explain maybe she can uh, do a little bit more uh, explanation if needed no sir that is right that's exactly what i said because uh, i think this has come as a one recent uh, change but there has been no change the mm -hmm. same rules are applying and uh, credit cards can be used as a government explain for personal purposes for example if somebody wants to get a uh, laptop for personal use fine uh, credit card can be used but if someone wants to bring uh, 10 or 15 laptops for commercial purposes that may be uh, questionable yes uh, maybe if there is any specific need uh, if we can be informed then we can check uh, our foreign exchange department uh, can be uh, contacted and informed thank you governor and deputy governor um it's another question from uh, Mary and Zina, uh, you know, we have announced certain measures today, and we have also indicated that uh, these measures are aimed at addressing some of the issues in the external sector. And the question is about when do we expect uh, some easing uh, in the pent up demand for dollars in the uh, banks uh, with the support uh, of these measures? Um, Dr. Amar Sekar would. Would you like to respond uh, briefly on that, uh, please? That's a, that's a difficult uh, question because, I mean, uh, usually we know that uh, there, is a, uh, the, there is a transmission lag of the policy decisions that we take. But the way that uh, the decisions have been made uh, this time by the monetary board, uh, it's actually a package that, is, uh, that has been introduced the uh, uh, higher interest rate adjustment and uh, an expectation of a liquidity uh, deficit, uh, particularly with a large uh, uh, increase in the statutory reserve uh, ratio. And on top of that, as Governor uh, mentioned earlier, there will be some provision of uh, foreign exchange liquidity uh, also, uh, although it's not uh, completely desirable. I think uh, to ease the pressures that will that uh, uh, will also need to happen in the in the short term, um, and uh, at the same time, it is uh, not only the uh, the central bank that uh, uh, that uh, needs to be uh, you know I mean act on this. Uh, that's why the exporters as well as uh, exporters, importers, the banking sector, uh, the government, all of. Uh, uh, us are trying to work together so that there will be a, a, a resolution of uh, the issues that we see in the foreign exchange market uh, without uh, delay. So the expectation is uh, an improvement uh, sooner rather than later, but we will have to wait and see uh, how it would evolve. Uh, but uh, as you know, I mean, the, the COVID pandemic has uh, resulted in various uh, issues in the economy. Uh, we are working without uh, much tourism inflows, uh, marginal tourism-related inflows, and this is a sector that uh, has the potential to attract attract about five billion US dollars per, per annum. So we have lost that uh, revenue thus far in 2021. We have lost that revenue in 2020, and uh, we have lost a part of that revenue in 2019 as well. Uh, due to the ESA under tax. So that's uh, the situation that we are working in at the same time with uh, the pandemic and the rating downgrades and so on. The, the channels through which the government uh, can also raise funds from abroad uh, have been uh, sort of restricted. So uh, I think the, the, the public, uh, the importers, exporters, they all have to understand the situation uh, as well. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Amar Shekhar. Um, I think uh, that's sort of pretty much that we have uh, in terms of the questions that we got in the chat option. Um, is there anything that uh, um, sort of the panel members sort of want to uh, add uh, before we wind up the session? Right. So, uh, Dr. Harish, I think there are some raised hands also. 
we can give um, them some of um mr ganevat wants to ask another question dr amarsekara me dawasala ara pahugiya sikurada indala me corona වසංගතත්වය පාලනය කරන්න අලුතෙන් ක්‍රියාමාර්ග ගණනාවක් රජයේ හඳුන්වලා දුන්නා. ඒ කියන්නේ සංචරණ සීමා දැඩි කර උත්සව පවත්වන්න මේ තහනම් කිරීම වැනි දේවල් හඳුන්වලා දීමත් සමග ආර්ථික කටයුතු වලට යම් යම් බලපෑම් සිද්ධ වෙනවා. ඒ තර ඔබතුමාලා ප්‍රකාශ කරපු 105ක ආර්ථික වර්ධනය එහෙමම ඔබතුමාලාගේ පුරෝකතනේ වෙනස් නොකර තාම තියෙනවා. එතකොට දැන් වසංගත තත්ත්වය හැම විශාල පිරිසක් දිනපතා මිය යනවා ආසාදිත බවට පත් වෙනවා මේ තත්ත්වේ ආර්ථික බලපෑම් කොහොමද ආර්ථික වර්ධනයට ඔබතුමාලා හිතන්නේ 105ම ළඟා කරගන්න පුළුවන් වෙයි කියලාද? ධනවත් මහත්මයා අපේ පුරෝකතන අනුව දැනට තියෙන පුරෝකතන අනුව මම අර කලිනුත් කිව්වේ ගොඩක් අවදානම් තත්ත්වයක අපි ඉන්නේ අපි විතර නේ ලංකාවේ විතර නෙමෙයි ගෝලීය වශයෙනුත් කොරෝනා තත්ත්වය නිසා අවදානමක් තියෙනවා. ඒ කියන්නේ පුරෝකතන නිතර වෙනස් කරන්න සිද්ධ වෙයි අපි. නමුත් දැනට තියෙන विशाल वर्धन अपेक्षा के अनुकूल वार्षिक लक्ष्मी पदन में आदत विशाल वर्धन अपेक्षा के अनुकूल आर्थिक वर्धन वेगे मुखा कि आर्थिक Yeah, uh, from Dr. Amar Sekar, I think uh, you you are, you are in your presented your document. Uh, you had a growth rate, expected estimated growth rate of four percent, whereas now the central bank saying uh, central bank is saying it's it's five percent. Anything happened between uh, you know when you all uh, predicted four percent and now? Do you see kind of a better than expected uh, growth now? That's not true, Mr. Anis. I think uh, if you look at the the annual report itself, we are we have actually pre- predicted a higher growth rate than five uh, percent. So uh, with the onset so of the report, third wave of in your report when you presented it, it said five percent. The prediction was uh, sorry four percent. Yeah. Um, I don't think so. It was uh, the the fourth the, the the sorry the first quarter 2021 growth actual growth rate was four point three percent. That's probably what uh, you uh, remember. Uh, so at the moment, our projection uh, for 2021 in terms of growth is five percent. Um, thank you, Doctor Amar Shekhar. Now I I can see uh, some sort of chat saying that uh, um, Mr. Harshana and Mr. Sisida want to raise questions, but I can't see your hands. So I come. Basically, I love uh, sort of ask you to unmute. So if you can raise hands, then I'll be able to um, give 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 the mic. And also, anyone who who had sort of already uh, put questions into the chat option, but uh, you can still raise your hand, and um, then I'll uh, I'll give the mic for you. Mr. Harshan or Mr. Sisira wants to uh, raise your hand. So you please please click on the raise hand option on the Zoom on Zoom, and then. Uh, Otherwise, um, so Mr. Asis has a follow-up question, or I can still see you. No, no sorry. Okay. Um, so in that case, um, I think um, I think um, we can end the session today. Um, so if you, if, excuse me, Doctor. Yes, the Yes. Say they have raised their hands. Yeah. The thing is, I mean, um, yeah, I can't see sort of sort of hands. Uh, um, 
been raised here. So there seems to be some technical issue, but uh, if they yeah. can uh, email their queries, we can. That's right. Them. Yeah. So please email your queries to our communications department. And uh, so we'll be able to um, get in touch, touch with you. Um, so in the interest of time, I think it's sort of, we, we can wind up the session uh, today. Um, so um, I would like to uh, thank um, uh, governor, uh, deputy governors and assistant governors and the heads of department and my colleagues at the research department uh, who participated uh, at this press conference today. Um, let me also thank uh, all the journalists for joining in and uh, raising questions uh, to clarify things uh, on behalf of the public. And also I wish to thank the communications department and the Center for Banking Studies for arranging uh, logistics for this virtual press conference. Um, finally, uh, let me remind you that our next uh, monthly post review announcement is scheduled for the 14th of, of October. So with that, uh, we end this press conference today. Um, and uh, so thank you again for joining in um, and uh, stay safe. Thank you.